cost of capital. It's the weight of debt multiplied by the pre-tax cost of debt multiplied by 1 minus t. Forget about uh, preferred stock, the weight in equity multiplied by <coughs> the cost of equity, common equity, that is. And the capital structure of the firm, which is the proportions of debt and equity, the proportions of bonds and shares that are issued in order to finance the firm's activities, are reflected in these two weights here. So note that, uh, as we saw, WD plus WS is sum to 1. They are the proportions of debt and equity in the capital of the business. Uh, and so far, we've assumed that this capital structure, these proportions of debt and equity, are given. Uh, so we've had examples where these things might have been 40% and 60%, or 20% and 80%, but they're simply given. Uh, in this lecture, we're going to turn to the question of how the firm chooses these weights. Uh, and note that up to a point, the firm does actually choose these weights. It's a conscious decision to issue more debt, and by issuing more debt, you raise your uh, debt-equity ratio. Uh, and we see in practice that different firms have very different capital structures.